Have you ever wondered what secrets the distant dwarf planet Pluto might be hiding? Pluto, a frigid world on the outskirts of our solar system, has always been shrouded in mystery. Dwarfed by its planetary siblings, it's been a source of fascination and intrigue since its discovery in the early 20th century. As the ninth object in our solar system's planetary lineup, it's been the subject of many debates among scientists. The main bone of contention? Its status as a planet. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union redefined what it means to be a planet, and as a result, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. But despite its diminutive size and status, Pluto's allure hasn't diminished. If anything, it's only grown stronger over time. Its icy surface, its five known moons, and its elongated orbit have sparked curiosity among scientists and astronomy enthusiasts alike. But perhaps what makes Pluto most intriguing is its isolation. It's the only dwarf planet in our solar system to have been visited by a spacecraft. That's right. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons mission made a historic flyby of Pluto, shedding light on this distant world's geology, atmosphere and moons for the very first time. But despite this close encounter, Pluto remains largely a mystery, its secrets waiting to be uncovered. So, as we journey through the cosmos, we'll explore what we know about this distant dwarf planet and what we hope to discover in the future. We'll delve into the captivating images captured by New Horizons, discuss the unique characteristics of Pluto and its moons, and look at what future missions might reveal about this enigmatic world. So let's delve into the enigmatic world of Pluto and unravel its secrets one discovery at a time. Our journey starts in 1930, when a young American astronomer, Clyde Tombaugh, first discovered Pluto. Pluto was first glimpsed by human eyes in early 20th century. It was a time when technology was in its infancy, and the tools used to explore the cosmos were far from what we have today. Yet it was during this era that Clyde Tombaugh, a young astronomer working at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona, managed to spot a tiny dot moving across the night sky. Using a device known as a blink comparator, Tombaugh was able to discern the movement of Pluto against the backdrop of fixed stars. This discovery was no small feat. It took countless hours of painstaking observation and analysis, as well as a fair bit of luck. The technology of the day was limited, and our understanding of the cosmos was still evolving. Despite these challenges, Tombaugh's discovery was a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The initial understanding of Pluto was clouded with mystery and intrigue. It was known to be the ninth planet in our solar system, a distant and icy world located in the far reaches of our cosmic backyard. But beyond that, little was known about this enigmatic planet. Its size, composition and the possibility of moons remained a question mark in the minds of scientists. This lack of knowledge only fueled the excitement and curiosity within the scientific community. It was a new frontier, a whole new world waiting to be explored and understood. The discovery of Pluto sparked a flurry of research and speculation. Astronomers around the world raced to gather more information about this distant planet. There were debates and discussions, theories and hypotheses. It was a thrilling time in the world of astronomy, a time of discovery and exploration that would lay the groundwork for our current understanding of the cosmos. This discovery was just a stepping stone to the numerous revelations that were yet to come. Did you know that Pluto isn't alone in its journey around the Sun? As we venture further into the mysteries of Pluto, we encounter its intriguing entourage, a quintet of moons that orbit this distant dwarf planet. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, was discovered back in 1978. Nearly half the size of Pluto itself, Charon is so gargantuan that some scientists consider Pluto and Charon a binary system, a cosmic dance duo in the far reaches of our solar system. This unique relationship between a planet and its moon is unlike any other in our celestial neighborhood. The other four moons of Pluto, Styx, Nix, Kerberos and Hydra, were discovered much later, with the most recent Kerberos and Styx being identified in the 21st century. They're much smaller than Charon, but each has its own unique characteristics. Nix and Hydra, for instance, have a unique chaotic rotation, spinning unpredictably as they orbit Pluto. Styx, the smallest of the moons, was discovered in 2012 by the New Horizons spacecraft, which was en route to Pluto at the time. Kerberos, found a year earlier, is darker than Pluto's other moons, 
leading scientists to speculate about its composition and origin. Hydra, the outermost moon, is of particular interest to scientists. Despite being so far from the sun, it has an icy surface that reflects sunlight, making it one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. These moons, each with their own unique features and behaviors, add another layer of intrigue to Pluto. They challenge our understanding of celestial mechanics and inspire us to continue our exploration of the outer reaches of our solar system. These moons added another layer to the mystery of Pluto, spurring scientists to probe deeper. And as we delve further into the mysteries of Pluto and its moons, who knows what other secrets we might uncover in the icy depths of the Kuiper Belt. The year 2015 marked a major milestone in our understanding of Pluto. In that monumental year, NASA's New Horizons mission embarked on an unprecedented journey. Launched nine years earlier in 2006, this spacecraft was destined for Pluto, a distant and enigmatic world. The mission's objectives were ambitious, to conduct detailed reconnaissance of Pluto and its moons, and to investigate the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune's orbit filled with icy bodies and several dwarf planets. As New Horizons sped through space at a staggering 36,000 miles per hour, scientists on Earth waited with bated breath. The spacecraft's flyby of Pluto would be a fleeting, yet profoundly significant moment. On July 14, 2015, their patience was rewarded. New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto, passing within 7,800 miles of the dwarf planet's surface. This flyby wasn't just a quick hello and goodbye. As New Horizons zipped past Pluto, it busily collected a wealth of data and snapped high-resolution images. These were the most detailed views of Pluto that we had ever seen. They revealed a surprisingly complex world, with a landscape of towering mountains made of water ice, vast plains, and a heart-shaped glacier, the iconic Tombor Regio. The data collected by New Horizons revolutionized our understanding of Pluto. It showed us that despite its small size and distant location, Pluto is an active and geologically diverse world. It's a place of contrasts, with icy nitrogen plains sitting next to dark regions made of tholins, complex molecules formed from methane and nitrogen. The New Horizons mission was a triumph of human curiosity and technological prowess. It took us billions of miles away from our home planet, to a world that had been little more than a blurry dot in our telescopes. But thanks to this mission, we now have a much deeper understanding of Pluto and its place in our solar system. The New Horizons mission brought Pluto from a blurry dot to a world of mountains, plains and intriguing geology. Even now, Pluto continues to surprise and intrigue us. The latest findings from our explorations have revealed an icy heart-shaped glacier known as Sputnik Planitia. This distinctive feature, stretching over a thousand miles across, has piqued the interest of scientists due to its unusual geology. The icy heart appears to be an impact basin filled with nitrogen ice, suggesting a dynamic and geologically active world beneath its surface. Our curiosity doesn't stop there. Scientists also suspect the existence of a subsurface ocean beneath the icy shell of Pluto. This is not just a mere conjecture, but a possibility backed by compelling evidence. The presence of certain surface features, such as the extensional faults in Sputnik Planitia, indicate internal heating, which could be a result of a subsurface ocean. Pluto's weather and atmospheric conditions are another surprising revelation. Despite its distance from the Sun, Pluto has a thin but present atmosphere. It's composed mainly of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide and undergoes seasonal changes. During its elliptical orbit, when Pluto moves away from the Sun, its atmosphere freezes and falls to the ground. As it gets closer to the Sun, the ice sublimates and forms a thin layer of gas around the planet. Looking ahead, the potential for future missions to Pluto is vast. Whether it's further investigation into the icy, heart-shaped glacier, the suspected subsurface ocean, or the complex atmospheric conditions, there's a wealth of knowledge waiting to be uncovered. Scientists are keen to explore these mysteries, and we can expect more exciting discoveries in the years to come. As we continue to unravel Pluto's secrets, one thing is certain. The more we learn, the more fascinating this distant world becomes.